Lucy. <laughs> um, welcome back to the Melody Mrs. channel. My name is Allison. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to get your ponytail popping. In my head now I have um, a 14, 16, 18, just like <laughs> I have a, um, a Marley ponytail that I made that was less than $15 using only flexi rods, a brush, a comb, a comb, um, a comb, ponytail holder, and some boiling water. So, if you want to see, well, actually, before I say that, I want to apologize for not making videos. Recently, um, we had technical difficulties. I had to get a new phone, and my new phone has much more storage, so it's easier for us to record videos. And also, me and Rana have decided to record videos um, sometimes separately, just because we go to different schools. So, with that being said, now we can get into the tutorial. If you want to see how I got my ponytail pop and then just keep on watching what you first want to do let me go ahead and take this off um what you first want to do is you want to buy a pack of marley hair i buy color one because my hair is jet black if you could tell um yeah once you get your marley hair it comes in half already take it out the pack and separate as much as you want from the pack i want my ponytail to be really full so i really use almost all the hair in the pack i just took off a few pieces once you figure out how much you want in your ponytail you get your hair separated you're gonna need a ponytail holder you're gonna find the midpoint for your ponytail you're gonna take your ponytail holder and put it through y'all gotta excuse my nails cuz <laughs> yeah I bite them really bad but you're gonna do your ponytail holder so that it kind of has like this loop right here right and then you simply just take one piece of the ponytail holder and put it through the other one and that is gonna give you like, the security that it still has like the ponytail holder piece um, up there. So once you have your ponytail, like little loop, like I said, made, hang it onto something that is kind of sturdy. You don't have to hang it up, but it will make it a lot easier. But I already did this piece, so I'm just gonna show you kind of what I did. Basically, all I did was I just combed it out. You can use whatever type of, not utensil, whatever type of thing you want to detangle but I use a comb just because it's easier. I'm using this other ponytail holder just to keep the other Marley hair out of the way. And the main reason why um, combing out your Marley hair is important is because the Marley hair has this texture to it. I guess like the texture is called Marley, that's why it's called Marley hair. But if you can see, or if you've ever seen Marley hair, you see like it has these crinkles in it. And anytime you, you're doing flexi rods, whether it's on your natural hair, fake hair, um, whatever, you want the hair to be as, not straight, but you want the hair to kind of be, well, I guess straight in a way, just so that the flexi rod can really take form to the hair, or the hair can really take form to the flexi rod, because if you do the flexi rods on this texture that the Marley hair already has, it's not going to truly give you the result that you're looking for. It's gonna be kind of manipulated just because you're not starting off on a clean slate. So yeah, we're just gonna to continue to comb it out. I'm gonna get my ponytail combed out completely and then I will kind of so my ponytail is all combed out. When you get your ponytail combed out it should look something like this. Um I was combing my pieces out individually but I got tired of doing it because they take so long. Okay so here comes the fun part. No, not really. <laughs> this part is fun, but it is also the most tedious. For this part, you're going to need flexi rods. I'm using two sizes. I use the yellow and the orange because the yellow, when it's done with Marley hair, it resembles, like, I don't know, don't join on my ponytail. I don't know if you can see the waves in my hair, but you know, waves won't form out. But when I brush the hair out and I put this, these type of flexi rods on the hair, they look like, I don't know, look like they go better with the waves. And I'm just doing some of the orange, so I'll have like some diversity. Blue flexi rods too. I'm about to get it Okay, so this is the part where you really do wanna separate your curls and, um, you know, do pieces. If you want fuller curls, like fresh out the water, use more pieces. I'm only using two pieces because I want my curls to be tight out of the water so that when I separate them, I can do what I want. If you, I feel like if your curls are too fluffy out of the process, you won't really get as much wear out of the ponytail because there will only be so much more fluffy fluffing that can happen. Now comb the hair out once again just to make sure the pieces kind of like 
go together. I'm gonna take a flexi rod and I'm gonna bend the tip of the flexi rod and I'm gonna take the bent tip and place it at the top, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna start moving the hair down the flexi rod. The technique that I use, as I go down, I don't know if you can see it, but as I go down, I kinda twist the hair as well. So it's like I'm going down and twisting all in the same motion. And I'm just gonna do that all the way down. And there you go. And you're gonna repeat the process all over the ponytail and I'll be back once that is on. Okay y'all, so before I get through the rest of the ponytail, I'll show you how to do the tighter, I mean the smaller flexi rods um, on the longer hair. So same process, well same starting process. You're gonna take the bent flexi rod place at the top of the piece of hair. But for the shorter flexi rods, all you're gonna do is curl the hair tighter together. Um, for the longer um, flexi rods, you can kind of have a space in between the curls as you go down. For the shorter flexi rods though, you wanna make the curls much closer together. Okay guys, so I'm finally done. Finally, but um, for the next step, oh yeah, this is what the ponytail should look like. And again, I use different flexi rods just because I feel like it looks more realistic when um, sorry, when the curls are a little different. But um, yeah. but I'm about to go boil my water. All you need for the next step, just boil some water, like boiling, boiling, and then leave your ponytail in there for like 15 seconds and allow it to fully dry before you separate it. But I'm gonna come back once my ponytail is fully dry. I soak my hair in the water and now I'm gonna show you all how I separate. What you're gonna do for the separation process, unbend the ends and then I like, same way you take the flex rods on your regular hair, you like twirl it and there are gonna be some tangles just because it's Molly hair, you know, kind of tangly. But um, yeah, so continue down the rest of the hair, twirling, twirling, twirling. So you get to the bottom, continue to twirl. Don't leave the hair off. And when you get to the bottom, this should be your curl. I'm gonna separate the rest and then I'll come back. So these are the curls. As you can see, they came out really pretty and defined. Before I separate, I'm just gonna take a towel, kind of like scrunch and blot out some of that extra water that's in there because I don't know. I think the water is so the curls separate better when they are um, not. So. To separate, what you're gonna do, um, I like to start from the top and see where the the curl naturally separates on its own. And then I just pull. It doesn't matter if the ends are terrible because I'm gonna cut this hair anyway. Because this, if I left it like this, it'll be really long on me. And I don't wanna look ridiculous. So you're just gonna lightly separate. I don't even pull all the way through. I just like use my thumb and other fingers to kind of like set not separate i don't know what the word is because i'm not completely separating just like fluff through the hair i guess and that's what we're going to do for the rest of the ponytail i'm going to speed up this process so yeah Okay guys, as you all saw in my last clip, this ponytail is really long. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cut it. All right y'all, so I am back and better. Okay, <laughs> ponytail popping. But um, yeah, this is the final look of the Marley ponytail. Here's the side view and the back. Um, to secure my ponytail, I just, the bun that I had before, I used the loop that was on the ponytail to just put that on top of the bun that I had. And then I bobby pinned a piece in the very back, so like it's undetectable. And I took a piece of the ponytail and I wrapped it around so that you wouldn't be able to see the top. But this is the final look. Um, I'm the end of the tutorial. If you want to see how I got my hair slicked down, thumbs up this video. I think it's like fairly easy, but some people might need extra help, so yeah. Thumbs up if you want to see how I slick down my hair, and be sure to subscribe to
to our channel the next time either Raina will um, film by herself or we'll do it together but um, if you want to keep up with us then you have to subscribe comment and be sure to follow us on our social media I will see you next time and thank you so much for watching